Welcome back. It's now Tuesday. It is 25 past five in the evening. Just got back from work. I didn't do any training this morning. I just had the whole day in the office today and this evening run session of sorts. It's not too difficult a session being race week and all that. But So that's coming up later. But yesterday's video, I did mention that I was going to go through those shoes in a little bit more detail. So I have them here again, although hopefully the focus isn't quite so dodgy today. So these are Giro Empire uh, SLX, is that what they're called? They're the lightweight version of the Giro Empire, so they've got the holes in. These are an old pair that I actually picked up off Facebook Marketplace for I think 100 quid. And the reason I wanted to get a second hand pair, not a new pair, is I've then and this is a uh, kind of quite a well-known hack in the tri world i think it's from like 2014 2015 there's a few pros that have done it i think thomas gerlach wrote a lot about it on his blog i'll leave the link to that in the uh, description of this video but what you do is you basically cut the tongue out so if you imagine these were in here that's now gone you then remove the regular laces and replace them with elastic laces and what that then leaves you with is a shoe that you can slip your feet into that's really aerodynamic because it's a like low profile shoe without any straps or boas or anything on it and it's kind of easy to get in and out of during a race and also it's really 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 light compared to any shoe i've used in the past i think these come in at like under 200 grams a shoe which is mental um, however the bedford olympic distance try at box end which i did not last weekend but the one before tried these out for the first time had a few teething issues so i everything was fine i put my socks on in transition because it was only a kind of a training sort of race ran out of transition across a load of wet grass where it had been raining and then when i tried to put my feet in these i basically couldn't get my feet in i had velotoes on as well which i think was causing them to be even kind of the opening even smaller so i had to <laughs> I tried for a little bit, I hopped on the bike, put my feet on top of the shoes, pedaled a bit, then reached down to try and put the shoes on and I couldn't get my feet in at all and it was so bad that I actually had to stop, pull the shoes off the bike, put my feet in the shoes and then hop back on the bike and clip in. So I probably lost 30 seconds at least there hopping on the bike which adds on to my bike time but when I was actually cycling, they were great and coming into T2, fantastic as well. So I think what I need to do is cut a little bit more off the tongue and also relace these so they're slightly more open. I'm going to use talcum powder again so my feet slide in, but yeah, there's some definite learnings from the first one. I did actually buy another pair of these to start with, which are these ones here. Um, these are the brand, like the newer version of this shoe and I couldn't bring myself to cut the tongue out of a brand new pair of shoes. So that's why I went down the second hand route on Facebook Marketplace and now I have these for riding normally and then I have these ones just for racing. It's probably too many shoes for one person, but there you go. If you've got any questions at all about these or if you've got any experience with them, leave them down in the comments. I'd love to hear about that because yeah, I'm still kind of trying to figure them out. I think they're going to be great, but yeah, I need to figure out that whole T1 process, it wasn't smooth last time at all. All right, enough about shoes, let's uh, head out on that run. <laughs> Good running. I'm done. That was four by a K, well, three and a half minutes. at sort of 340K pace there or thereabouts. Minute and a half, steady jog recovery. These guys are doing five by a K with three minutes recovery, so much faster. We'll catch up with them after. Mark and Catherine are about to finish their last K. Hey. Good run in. 35. Oh. Okay. So that, 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 <laughs> that? Yeah, it's alright. I was just taking a bit easier than you guys. Yeah, Three tenths finish. That was Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 I said now. The 3.35 like, from Catherine. Quite hard to be. Nice six pack. Thanks. Oh. That just looks wrong. It's on the menu tonight. Uh, it is. 
spicy, cheesy, um, broccoli sausage pasta. Sounds mega. Christ, this is like chemically bonded. Struggling. Well, I can't. Yeah, um, I don't want to completely demolish the packaging. Struggling with that, but not struggling with running this evening. Catherine absolutely smashed that session. I don't know how well I described it earlier, but damn kettle. Anyway, you had like five by a K, didn't you? Yeah. With three minutes recoveries, and you brought the last one in in 3.35 K yeah. pace. Yeah. Which is mental, being as like this time last year for those sets, you were kind of doing what, high 350s? Yeah, probably 355 average, yeah. whereas that was... So that's a big old improvement and just goes to show what consistent running can do. My session went alright, just like pretty sub-maximal, just getting used to that race pace, nothing like fireworks, not really tiring myself out, but just getting the legs turning over, so I'm happy with how that went. And uh, that and this food is going to wrap us up for today. England won the football match, which we could hear because the football club is next to the running track. Three lines on the shirt. <laughs> and everyone was going absolutely mental. Yeah, tomorrow we're swimming in the morning. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. Why is it coming home? I don't know. Oh, we think because like football's invented here, therefore it's coming home. Yeah, although kicking a ball around the field, I, like it's hard to claim ownership of that, isn't it? Anyway, sidetracked. We're swimming tomorrow in the morning. I think I've got something else on the agenda. I'm not quite sure, but today's run session is all I've got in the diary, and. Uh, yeah, getting ready for race day tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the little shoe information bit earlier. And uh, I know someone was asking about that in the comment. I think Jasper, so there you go, that's for you. And tomorrow, we'll see you in the morning bright and early for a swim. But that will do it for today's video. Can you get the bin out so I can put this sausage foreskin in it? I'm at Bombshell. If you've enjoyed the video, subscribe, leave it a like, drop any comments, any questions you might have, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>